Now you understand how you can create the title and the add employee button inside the application. Let's take a look at how you can create this table. Here inside my project, let me first create a new folder inside this crude app. Inside this application, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name this components. And inside this components, I'm going to create a new file and name this file table.js. That's about you. You can specify any name to this file. Here, I'm going to export a default function and I'm going to name this function table. In this function, I'm going to simply return JSX. Inside the return statement, I'm going to create a table. So we call the HTML element table. And to this table, we specify some Tailwind classes. First is minimum width, which is going to be full. Then specify the table auto, the Tailwind CSS class. And inside this, we have table head. In inside this T head, we have different fields of the records. Just down here, just out of this table head, we are going to have the table body. You all know this is a very simple syntax of table. Now inside this table head, to add a new field, you have to create a new row and inside that row, you have different fields. So you first add table row. This is going to create a new row and inside this row, we have here table data. So inside this th, we create a span tag and specify name text. Let me save this back to the index.js and just inside this index.js, right up here, I'm going to say import table from the component table file and then I'm going to import this table right down here just out of this division tag right here let me grab this command and specify that right down here so I'm going to have this table just out of this division tag save this file I'm going to have this field here name after that I'm going to back to the table.js and here I'm going to specify some tailwind classes to the spawn tag so specify class name text gray 200 then I'm going to specify some padding to this th tag so we specify class names padding x 16 and padding y 2 this will add text color and padding to, to this field just after that to this table row we specify class name bg gray 800 save this I'm going to have this row with the background gray color just after that let me copy this field and specify that here and change this name to email save this let me duplicate this let me copy and paste that right down here I'm gonna change this name to salary duplicate this statement two more time this became birthday this is going to be the status and I'm gonna duplicate this one more time and I'm gonna change the status to actions I'm going to have these fields over here. You can see I'm going to have these table fields. What I have to do is I have to grab this table and put that inside a container. So I'm going to grab this and say here container. Paste the table here like this. I'm going to have this table inside a container. Just start that. Let me add here MX auto to center this table. So we pass here MX auto. Now using MX auto, we horizontally center the content. Just start that inside this table, we need table data so inside this table body right here we add the table data so we first add here a class name so we add class names bg gray 200 this will add a background color to this table body and inside this we create a new table row every time you add a new data you create a new table row and inside that table row you have your table data so this is what the table head and inside this table body, we have table data. So we add here TD. Just add that to this table data, we first specify some class names. So we first specify here padding x16. So this will add left and right padding. Then add padding y2. This will add top and bottom padding. Then I'm going to add flex, flex row. And then I'm going to say items center. And inside this TD, right here, I'm going to add the image tag. Later, I'm going to convert this IMG tag into the Next.js component. Just for now, I'm going to leave this as it is. And then I'm going to specify here hash because I don't have any image right now. Just out of this image right here, I'm going to add a span tag with some class names. So we add text center to, to center this text. Then margin left is going to be two. Font is going to be semi bold. And inside this span, we specify the name daily tuition. Save this file, 
you can see i'm gonna have my first name here just for that to this table row we specify some class name of delvin so we specify bg gray 50 then specify text center to center all the text save this and this will just specify gray color to this background once we have this table data we need another data we add here table data and add a span tag inside it and the email is going to be daily tuition at the rate gmail.com this is the email just add that to this table data we specify some classes here padding x16 and padding y2 save this file so i'm going to have my email and i'm going to do the same for all the fields so let me copy this table data paste that down here change this email and this time i'm going to specify here salary so we first add here a dollar dollar sign and then specify here salary after that i'm going to paste the table data again and then get rid of this email and then specify here date so just for now i'm just going to specify here date 10 2022 duplicate the table data again get rid of this spawn tag now i'm going to add here a button so we add here a button for active and inactive status so i'm going to add here a button and inside that we have a spawn tag and to the spawn tag we have active or inactive user just for now i'm going to add active user so i'm going to add here a spawn tag and to this button we first specify class cursor so when you hover on this button you will get the hand icon and after that we specify some classes to this spawn tag so to this spawn tag we specify bg green 500 this will specify a green background to this button you can see just out of that we specify text white then specify padding x5 and padding y1 and then i'm going to specify rounded full you can see i'm going to have my active button here just out of that just after this table data i need to add my action so i'm going to copy this table data specify that right down here and to this button instead of this smart tag i'm going to add here an icon as you know inside this index.js at the top we already have here an icon you can see we are using this box icons so let me just use this import statement and import few icons here inside this table so at the top right up here inside my table.js i'm going to say import in the curly braces i'm going to import bi edit icon and then i'm going to import bi trash alt icon from the react icon bi just out of that i'm using this icon right inside this table data so when i scroll down here i'm going to have this button and here i'm going to add this icon save the changes you can see i'm going to have this icon here now to this icon let me just specify size size is going to be 25 pixel and then i'm going to specify some color to it so color is in the rgb value so i'm going to copy rgb value and specify that inside this double code something like this save this file you can see i'm going to have this icon here with the rgb value and the size let me do the same for this trash icon so if i copy this scroll down and create a new button here with the class name cursor and inside this button here i'm going to add this trash icon copy both these statements paste that right down here to the second icon and instead of this rgb value now i'm going to change this value and specify different color to it like this save this file you can see i'm going to have this button here now what i want i need to add some space so to this td this one to this td we specify flex justify around and gap is going to be five save the changes you can see i'm going to have some space between these icons so this is how we can simply create a table inside this application.